Hari Om to all the Atma Jyotis, Divine Light of the Self. Welcome to this very special program of Katha Jyoti, where we have uh, a beautiful session coming up for you. Uh, we, we shall start today's program with the opening prayer by uh, I leader Akshat. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Om Gur Bhuvastuha, Tatsavitur Varenyam, Bhargo Devasya Divahi, Diyo Yonak. Harium, everyone. Harium, thank you, Akshat. Uh, welcome to all the Atma Jyotis, the little uh, uh, eye leaders, the Vamanas, the Balakrishnas, and the Vivekanandas, and all the other teachers and viewers on uh, the virtual audience on YouTube. So today we have Anagha, ma'am, who is going to tell us a beautiful story. Anagha, ma'am, uh, is your video on? So let's yes, highlight, yes. Spot, yes, let's spotlight Anaga ma'am. Um, so Anaga ji is a very, very, um, she's a professional storyteller, you know that? And uh, her stories are so lo lovely and beautiful. And uh, even if it's for little children, even the adults love to listen to Anaga ji's stories. So I leave the floor to Anaga ji, please uh, carry on Anaga ma'am. Welcome Thank to Katha Jyoti. Welcome Thank to Katha Jyoti. Yes. My yes. pleasure. Hi, yes. kids. <laughs> Hi, mom. We can all unmute and talk, okay, until I start the story. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know what a firefly is? Yes, mom. Yeah. What is a firefly? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, in it's, it's an insect. It's an insect which will glow in the night. Very good. And it's very good. Yes, yes, very good. All I bright children. It's a bird which flies with light. It's not a bird, it's an insect. Yes, it is an insect which flies, and when it flies, it has a light inside it. Okay. Now, many, many years ago, this firefly did not have any light. And it used to always get very bad grades in the school. Can you tell me why? Raise your hand and tell me why. Why do you think the firefly did not get very good grades, good marks in school? He did not study. <laughs> he did not study? Okay, I'm going to tell you the answer. It did not have light. It was not bright. It was not bright. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a story about how this firefly got its light. All right. So, like I said, many, many years ago, when the mountains were forming on the earth, when the rivers had not yet begun to flow, there was jungle everywhere. And there were various animals, but only one animal was missing. Who? Man. There was no man on the earth at that time. Okay. And this tiny little firefly was very upset with himself. He was a very kind insect. The firefly was very kind. The firefly was very helpful. The firefly became very sad to see his friends become sad. And this tiny firefly would always wonder, look at the deer. It has beautiful big eyes and such lovely coat. Look at the peacock, beautiful colorful feathers and it walks with its head held high. And what beautiful walk that peacock has. Look at this tiger, nice whiskers, huge shoulders, beautiful stripes on his body, just like the sun in the shade, 
And look at me. Oh, I'm so poor. I'm only grey. And I'm so uninteresting. I wish God would have given me something and made me a little more interesting. That's what he used to think. But he had a friend who would sit on his nest and keep awake at night with big eyes. Can you tell me who this friend was? Owl. Owl. Very good. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yes. A tiny little spotted owlet was the firefly's friend. And every night, the firefly would go visit the owl. And the owl's mama would have gone hunting. So these two would have a gala time. Okay. And every time the owl would tell this firefly, it's okay. Why are you worried? You are such a nice person. You are so helpful. You are so kind. So what if you are grey? No, but look at you. You have big eyes. The elephant has a long nose. The eagle can fly so high. The deer is so dainty. The peacock is so colourful. And look at me. I don't like myself, said the firefly. Now, one day as usual, when Mama Owl went hunting and little baby owl was looking for his friend, the firefly came there. And he saw that this little owlet had tears in his eyes. What do you think the firefly did? The firefly felt very sad. He said, my friend, my friend, why are you crying? Tell me, tell me, tell me. How can I help you? And so the owl said, look, my friend over there in the sky, that big round fellow, he is very sad today. Who is very sad? Who is that big round fellow in the sky at night? Sad. Um, hmm? Moon, moon. Moon, very good. So the owlet said, the moon is feeling very sad and therefore I am crying. So the firefly said, oh, but why is the moon sad? Why is the moon sad? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm going to help. So the owl told the firefly, one tiny piece of the moonlight has fallen into the lake and the moon is very sad because of that. Can you see that little light there in the lake over there? That little tiny pearl like thing there. That one. So the firefly said, okay, so if I give this light back to the moon, will the moon be happy? The owlet said, yes, the moon will be very happy if that little drop of light is returned to him. So the firefly said, okay, I will do something. I will do something. Because remember, the firefly was very kind and they, he always wanted to help everyone so he went to the big nosed fellow who was this big nosed fellow moon elephant. Elephant. elephant and he buzzed in the elephant's ears and the elephant got up very irritated what are you doing oh i'm trying to wake you up why are you trying to wake me up in the middle of the night? Because, because the moon's light has fallen in that lake. See there? See there? You can see? Small dot. That light. Your nose is very long. No. You pick that light up. Stretch your trunk like this and give it to the moon. The elephant laughed. Ha, ha, ha. Are you fool? Do you think my nose is long enough to reach the moon? <laughs> foolish fellow, simply walk me up from my sleep. Go away, go away, he said. And the firefly went away. Okay. And the elephant started snoring again. Now, what to do? Whom to go to? Who will help me? Then the firefly went to the eagle. The eagle was sleeping in his nest. And what did the firefly do? He ruffled his feathers. The eagle got up. And the eagle said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you waking me up from my sleep? The little firefly said, you know what? You know what? The moon's light has fallen down. Somebody has to return that light to the moon because the moon is sad. And because the moon is sad, my friend Owl is also very sad. So the eagle said, so what am I supposed to do? 
अरे यू हैव सच स्ट्रॉन्ग विंग्स यू फ्लाई सो हाई यू टेक दैट लाइट गो टू द मून एंड गिव इट नो रेगल ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड लाफिंग सेइंग आर यू मैड डू यू थिंक आई कैन फ्लाई दैट हाई एंड रीच द मून यू फूलिश लिटिल फायरफ्लाई गो अवे एंड द पुअर फायरफ्लाई वेंट अवे नाउ द फायरफ्लाई स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग who can help me who can help me who can help me then he remembered oh there is this long necked fellow no who lives in that grassland let me go and wake him up who is this long neck fellow giraffe <laughs> giraffe very good such smart children you all are yeah. so he went to the giraffe and he pulled the giraffe's horns two horns on his head giraffe said what are you doing who is pulling me in the middle of the night the firefly said it's me it's me what is it what is that you want now the giraffe asked and the firefly said you know what that moon's light is fallen in that lake over there there you know that lake no there but tiny drop why don't you pick it up and with your long neck stretch it nicely and give it to the moon the giraffe said are you mad Do you think my neck is that big? What do you think I am? Go away. Let me sleep. And the firefly again flew away. But now the firefly had a big problem. There was no body to help him. How will the light go back to the moon? And how will the moon be happy? And how will my friend owl be happy? I have to do something. I have to do something. He said. Then. He thought, okay, if nobody else is going, let me give it a try. At the most, what will happen? I will not be able to reach the moon. Let me try at least. What is the harm in trying? So the firefly went to the lake and started drinking water so that the drop of light comes up. And when the drop of light came to the surface of the lake, what? What did the firefly do? Swallowed it. Swallowed it. Very good. And then he flapped his wings and flapped his wings and flapped his wings, and he became tired and still continued to flap his wings. He was tired. His shoulders were aching. The moon was not coming any closer to him. But he still tried and tried and tried. And finally, he reached amongst the stars. And then the stars started clapping for him and saying, "Come on, come on! Only some more distance. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it." And the firefly thought to himself, "Okay, maybe I can do it." And he started flapping his wings again, very rhythmically, breathing deeply so that he doesn't tire himself a lot. And he reached the moon, and the moon was so happy and so glad to have this. drop of light back and then the firefly rested on the moon the moon said come rest on me before you go back because again going back to your own home is a long journey so why don't you rest here so he rested there and moon and firefly started having a conversation because now they had become friends so the firefly said to the moon you know what all my friends have something in them I am one boring grey fellow nobody even wants to look at me the giraffe has a long neck the elephant has a long nose the eagle has strong wings even the owl has big big eyes but what am i i am simply a little poor insect only grey in color i don't like me and then the moon also told him what the owl was saying you know what firefly you have a lot of power in you and what is that power it is your belief in yourself you believed even the eagle who has strong wings did not believe that he could fly to the moon but you flew to the moon you came to me and you showed the intent to help your friends so i can see a very good quality in you and that is you will go to any lens to help your friends and i'm so happy for that and i'm so glad to have a friend like you who will go to any extent to help his friends so i'm going to give you a gift said the moon the firefly became very excited he loved gifts so he, don't you all love gifts 
we all like gifts no yes mm-hmm. so the moon also decided to give a gift to the firefly and he said you know what you can take this drop of light and keep it in your tummy and every night when i come out you glow from the earth so i can say a hi to you and you can say a bye to me and the firefly was very excited he took the light in and flew back to the earth now the moon could see him from there because he was glowing in the dark and only he was glowing in the dark is there anyone else who glows in the dark nobody. except moon nobody. nobody except moon nobody so now the moon even today when night falls and the fireflies begin glowing the moon says a hi to his friends from their top and these friends say hi to the moon because it's the moon's light that glows in the firefly and some other people some other animals also have light bioluminescence some other animals have light and you know what they've been given that light from this firefly this firefly only gave them because they were so impressed with the way the firefly glows right and everybody in the jungle sat like this and they said our colors and long necks and long noses and strong wings are nothing compared to the wonderful glow that you have within you but you know what the firefly said thank you so much for your compliments but what did the moon tell me i will tell you he said the beauty is within and it is the beauty that glows if you are if you have a good heart if you are a good person from inside nothing else matters you will have many friends and you will be able to overcome all obstacles in your life with the help of your friends did you like the story of the firefly and its light it was amazing mom it was amazing yes, mom what did you yes, learn from the story tell me friendship is the best magic friendship is the best magic okay what else what else do you learn from the firefly we should believe uh, we should believe in ourselves then uh, uh, then so many the impossible becomes possible she is uh, here we should be kind we should be anata laksha one one minute Sh- sharanya is saying something yes sharanya we should be kind we should be kind kind okay very good yes we should be kind we should be kind we should be helpful and we should have what power will power if you have the will to do it then your job is half done already right no other big animal took the risk of traveling to the moon it was this tiny little firefly with its tiny little wings that he decided to overcome the obstacle and reach the moon have you never felt that in in your lives have you ever felt that this is very difficult i will never be able to do it have you all felt <laughs> akshar tell me ah ji i learned that uh, we should have faith in whatever we do we should have faith in whatever we do but were there times in your lives that you thought you will not be able to do it anyone felt uh, like that we should at least try we should at least try yes that is the learning that we take from the story but now i am asking you were there any situations in your life where you felt i will never be able to do this or you felt very scared about doing something um once in my exam once in your exam what did you feel a uh, question was very hard and i almost struck i thought i couldn't do it and did you were you able to do it like i i left the question and then uh, after uh, i had some time left i tried to solve it and i did it and you did it right did you do you uh, um, also feel that you know when you have that belief in yourself you are able to become more successful at it yeah okay what do you learn from the moon what does the moon teach you from the story 
the moon in the story has uh, been kind to the firefly and gave the part of the light uh, to it so it was kind giving the gift okay. the moon uh, the moon uh, told the firefly that we should never give up and uh, help everyone help everyone okay so if i ask uh, you the moon motivated the uh, the firefly very good the moon motivated the firefly the stars also motivated the firefly they said come on come on it's only this much now you can reach you can reach you can reach right now also tell me uh, what do you think is more important the way you yeah, i have experience you have experience what have akshat. you experienced yes akshat tell me ah uh, once uh, just uh, two three days back i fell while i was riding a cycle then mm -hmm. i thought i could never walk but you are able to walk now isn't it yeah the yeah. same place i felt today also but i am walking still correct very good so uh, what was i saying mm, so uh, suppose if i ask you what is more important the outer beauty or the inner beauty the inner beauty inner view. and what is inner beauty the kindness uh, the heart i mean the never giving up courage the kind uh, heart in heart courage good quality good power very good very good you are such smart children right now the firefly had a big problem now what did the firefly do what did the firefly think when it had it compared a... itself to other animals okay and and then it told all uh, his problems to the owl okay now did the firefly compare himself in this way that oh if the elephant is not able to do with his long nose if the giraffe can't help with his high neck if the eagle can't fly uh, that far with his strong wings what can i do i can't do anything ayyo i can't do anything and did he sit down and cry no he what did he uh... I told at least let me try and he tried. If I don't get it, I'll anyways take help. Let me try. He very did. good, he very good, very good. What did the firefly think? It's okay if I don't succeed, but it is important for me to try. And what did the firefly realize when he tried? He became very successful at it. Yes or no? And he yeah, have got question. the glowing light. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the question is the really the firefly could fly as high as the moon because it's in the space i don't think gravity will be there then yes. how can it fly it's a story you're right scientifically it is not possible in reality it is not possible but it's a story and in a story because we can imagine anything is possible and that is the beauty of stories Yeah. Now okay. can the firefly talk? Can the firefly talk in reality? Can the elephant yeah. or the giraffe talk in reality? No, right? But when we tell stories, it becomes interesting. Yeah. Yes. Can I, can I tell my the story of the person Parikshit? Yeah, we will we will listen to that story a little later when Purnima ji gives us the permission to. But before that, I want to ask you something else. Okay. Now, just like the firefly, when there are problems in front of you, what do you do? Do you say, "Oh my God, this is a monster problem. I want to run away," or do you say, um, "It's a bug. Let it be. Leave it alone. I don't want to do anything about it," or do you say, "It's a challenge. I may not succeed, but let me try." What is it that you will do when you are faced with a problem? We have to face the problem. you will try okay yes. and you have to face the problem you have to face the problem okay and is do you think facing the problem is easy not easy but if we not easy try, but we should try easy. not easy but we should try how do you think you will feel when you have a problem in front of you i will feel uh, like i will feel sad or i will feel uh, um then i when you have a problem in front of you how do you feel you feel sad what else 
I feel terrible. Uh, like I'm not able to do this. What will I do? Okay. What else? We 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 get we get scared, but we slowly try to solve it. Very good. You feel scared. You feel sad. You feel nervous. You feel helpless. Sometimes you don't know what to do. Right? What else do you feel when you have a problem in front of you? A big problem. Do you always face the problem, or sometimes you feel? Scared? Sometimes I feel intense, but then I tell to myself that each problem will have a solution in that. Never give up. Who is speaking? Is this Akshat or Kirtana? Kirtana. Kirtana. Ah, one minute. I'm just new Akshat. I can't hear you properly. Okay. Yes, Kirtana. Tell me. Like sometimes I feel uh, tensed, but then I say myself. Uh, Uh, that uh, each problem will have a solution, and we should never give up. Very smart. We should never give up, and every problem has a solution. No problem is big enough. No problem is bigger than me, right? No problem is bigger than you. All of us have. All our problems have some or the other solutions, right? So now, what did the firefly do when he had a problem? It. Uh... Did he come to the solution immediately? No. What did he do? He waited for the time, and he he was sad that there was a problem. He did not. Uh, he was not special uh, like his other friends. He was very sad. I also want to be. I also want uh, to have one specialty. It okay. was feeling like that and telling all his feelings to his friend. okay so the uh, the firefly didn't come at the solution of flying to the moon immediately first he went and tried out other solutions what were the other solutions that the firefly tried uh, asking help from the his friends asking help from the giraffe asking help from the elephant asking the help eagle. from the eagle but nothing seemed to work right It has so, one more moral that we should do works ourselves and not depend on other people. We should do. We should do all our tasks ourselves and not depend on other people. Okay, maybe that is also a great learning. We should be independent and try to solve our problems on our own and not depend on another people. Fresh perspective, very good, good answer. But what I'm trying to tell you here is. has it happened with you that you have a problem and you try to solve it in one way it doesn't work you try to solve it in another way it doesn't work when you try to solve it in the third way it doesn't work has it happened to you that you tried many solutions but you, the, it didn't work i'll give you a small example suppose you are feeling bored and you decide to listen to music mama says my meeting is going on close put the music off If you want to look at the TV, Papa says bandwidth is not enough. Put the TV off. If you want to draw, someone says, "Oh, you are going to make a mess of this painting and all. Don't do painting now." Has it happened to you that you try multiple things but nothing works? No one over here. It happens, no? Anvi, sometimes it happens, no? Just a little time, but maximum times it does not. it doesn't okay but sometimes we have to try many solutions before we come up to the right solution because sometimes we don't know what the right solution is right and when you try multiple times and you still it doesn't work we tend to feel a little frustrated yes or no don't you feel angry when you're trying to fix a puzzle and it just doesn't come together we, we, we yes, feel like come anxious we become anxious very good aditya yes pramukh you were saying something and we will feel frustrated why does this um, not uh, come together why does this not uh, work why does this not, not happen we feel like that but then we get that if there is no patience we cannot achieve what we have absolutely when you don't have patience when you don't give up then only when you have a lot of patience and you don't give up and you continue your attempts you are going to be able to solve your problems in a correct way okay so 
what do we learn from the firefly story it is the inner beauty that is more important your intention to help people your intention to have a strong will power and your belief in yourself that i am going to be able to do this is very important and if we all can do those things then we will also glow from the inside like the little firefly okay understood yes all understood right. ji okay yes, bye thank you over to you purnima ji wow that was so nice so entertaining and uh, so much of moral was there in this just a minute uh, what's yeah thank you anagha it was really lovely i enjoyed it i became a child and i also want to reach the moon reach out to the moon and get a little of its glow <laughs> right, right. Very, very, it was a lovely story no children yes ma'am yes yes ma'am yes, and you would like to hear more from anaga ji no yes ma'am whenever yes, she is free yes, whenever she is uh, you know whenever yes, she is free let's do that okay i have such wonderful audience thank you so much kiddo <laughs> wonderful very interactive yes and um, yeah and uh, some of us are very lucky to be attending uh, anaga ji's uh, workshop from next week that is uh, monday to friday okay so we look forward to that anagha ji thank yes. you so much thank you thank you thank you bye bye hari let's ho. close the session with a prayer by anvi and then we can continue informal interaction anvi yes ma'am uh, what about my story about parikshit wait let us let us conclude this particular session and then we'll come back to you yeah. anvi let us start with the closing prayer yes असतोमा सद्गमया तमसोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृतम गमया नानो नानं बुद्धो नानल्ला इदेहा मनबुद्धि नानल्ला सचिदानंदात्मा शिवनाम शिवोहम शिवोहम लोका समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता श्रीगुरुचरणापणमस्तु थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू ऑल सी यू नेक्स्ट फ्राइडे अगेन फॉर अनदर हाँ वी कैन क्लोज द स्ट्रीमिंग राइट नाउ Uh, i have a beautiful announcement to make for the next uh, friday